The talk is over, and so is the 30-year hiatus from oval racing in Alexandria. The winter spectacular is off and running, and that means racers from all over the country are here. And with 40 classes, more than 650 sleds are in town, squeezing the throttle and aiming for the checkered flag. In its first year, the word spread quickly that the track at Viking Speedway is fast. Top speeds and trials hit 108 miles an hour. The word even made it over our northern border, where these Canadian women heard about the race yeah. and know that this weekend will be yeah, special. So this is our first time here, and it seems like it's going to be a little exciting because it's supposed to be a fast track. So. <laughs> Uh, it's great. It's great to see that many people going into the event, especially when it's just started up again. It makes it a wonderful race, so the more the merrier. <laughs> the spectacular has also brought in the heavy hitters. Among them, Ryan Nister of Tommy Leapar Racing. Leapar has made two races this weekend part of his prestigious TLR Cup. Leaper says they're confident the track would be a good addition to the cup, and that was confirmed by his driver. He liked it uh, because of the banking. We've been on bank tracks before, Eagle River, Ogilvy last year here in Minnesota by St. Cloud, and the sleds uh, do well there. I mean, you don't, you're not forcing the sled around the flat corner, so they handle easier, they go faster, and it's safer. For many people, the races are a reminder of the good old days. Throughout the crowd were people like Dan Richardson, who raced here nearly 40 years ago and now brought a team back to race this year. My very first snowmobile race I ever went to was right here in 74. Uh, my dad brought it to me, brought me there, uh, got us hooked on racing, and I raced snowmills pretty much from 76 uh, on most of my whole life. So, and I raced here back in the late 70s and early 80s. I'm glad to see this uh, venue open up, and the track just looks awesome. The work needed to get the track ready for close to 700 sleds over three days was quite the undertaking. But you could feel the excitement from those gathered for Friday morning's racing that this weekend is going to be well worth the effort for both the drivers and, of course, the fans. For the Voice of Alexandria, I'm Joe Kurkowski.